All right, we uh, we got this crazy root. Another one of these great roots I got. Um, I think I'm gonna try to make like a goblet or something out of it. I'm not sure how it'll work, but I'm gonna give it give it a good try, and um, probably get some resin, fill it in, just get it to a rough shape, and then I'll figure out some way to stick it in something, get some resin around it, and some color, and see if we get something cool. All right. between centers I eyeballed it not really a any scientific way for myself in my opinion to find a perfect center on the bad fellow but um I got it pretty close to what I think is center um so I'm gonna kick her up uh, I got her on the 684 belt and uh, I'm gonna get out the old bull gouge and I will start hacking away and trying to make something out of this wish me luck All right, this is dry enough. I'm gonna finish this project up, make this chalice out of this root. Uh, got her back in the saddle, so we'll get it going again. See if we can't uh, make some progress on it. I got some resin sitting that's ready to go, so we'll uh, get it turned and cleaned up and we'll get it poured. getting to the point where we're just about as far as I want to take it until I pour. So I'm straighten this out just a scotch. Enough to here. We've got some pretty good cracks, which is kind of what I like. flat spot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up with some wire brushes all right well we'll uh, get a mold going and go from there all right I have mixed up some tangerine or orange I believe it is and uh, threw some black pearl X in there and swirled it around towards the bottom so that way it'll all mix in. And now we're gonna 
throw it into the pressure pot. Get that done and then we'll flip it around and we'll do a little bit of resin on the base after that's all cured up and then we'll do a finished turn and polish her up and hollow her out and that'll be it. All right, it's been a bunch of days. I don't even know how many, but uh, my chalice is set up. Now to get her out, see if we can get this bad fella out of here. Well, not quite as I would hope, but it's got some potential. Looks kind of cool. All right, now I'm going to do another pour on the, on the stem, and then I'm going to do it on the base, so that way we can get some of the some of that in there. Too. I'm having problems. I haven't figured out how to get this to mix to put like a swirl or something in it. So I'm gonna try it. I have uh, this better boat. So what I'm gonna do is mix that up and I'm gonna get that going and then I'm gonna mix some orange and black and try to swirl them for there. And then I'm gonna do the bottom in just black. All right, after a bunch of pours, 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 we are ready to turn this into a chalice. I got black down here. I want the base to be black. This is kind of hodgepodge of orangish, yellowish, and black, kind of a mishmash. And then we've got the copperish orange with a lot of black accents in it. So it should turn out to be pretty, pretty interesting. Um, I'm gonna get this, uh, get this spinning and see what it makes.
All right, I'm gonna call that a success. Before I do anything, I'm gonna take a measurement because the last thing we wanna do is drill through the bottom of this bad fella. Down the sand. Again, we're gonna not gonna go. We're gonna go with 120, and we're gonna start out at 120, and then we'll work our way up all the way to wet sanding, and then we'll polish her. some Mylan's cellulose sanding sealer. Get this sealed up and then we're gonna put our finish on. Go with some Yorkshire grit. Nice to get rid of the bubbles, but yeah, sometimes you just can't get it all. All 
All right, piece is complete. It's pretty clear. Colors worked out rather well. I'm pretty pleased with it with the exception of some of the, there's a, there's a few clusters of bubbles that I really tried to get out right here and I just couldn't get them. Um, I didn't want to keep gouging away, so we'll have to live with them. But for the most part, I do believe it's a quite a stunning piece and um, I really like it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, pound on that like button. It's very important. And subscribe if you haven't, you know. Doing a lot of cool projects. Each and every one of these is going to be getting a little bit better. A little more interesting. But uh, anyways, um, until the next video, be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. Take care.